Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question shortest bridge. So you are given n by n binary matrix grid where 1 represents land and 0 represents water. The island is four uh, directionally connected group of ones, not connected to any other ones. Uh, there are exactly two islands in grid. You may change zeros to ones to connect the two islands to form one island. So return the um, smallest number of zeros you must flip to connect the two islands. So let's see the example. So you are given 0, 1, 1, 0. Output is 1 because 0, 1, 1, 0. So if we want to connect uh, these two ones, so we can flip so 0, this 0, or this 0. So that we can connect um, like a one island like this. So that's why in this case output is one. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So to solve this question, first of all, we try to find one of islands. So description said there are exactly two islands in grid. So we try to find one of islands. And we start from 0, 0. And we find a part of island. And uh, next, we change all one to another number. So in this case, we change this one to, let's say, um, we change 2. So that's because um, if we traverse with 1, so for example, uh, when we reach this one, in that case, we don't know uh, this one is the part of the same island or different island. We are not sure. So that's why we need to change um, all one to another number or period, whatever. So, and then next, so in this case, um, the positions of all two are like a starting point to traverse because uh, they are like the same island. And then try to find uh, this one. And then, for example, if we change this 0 to 1, in that case, we can connect two island here. So in this case, we should return 1. Yeah, so that's my strategy. So explanation is very short, but uh, uh, code is a little bit longer. So I'll explain little by little. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, calculate the length of rows and the columns equal length of grid and the length of grid zero. And then um, initialize Q and we use day Q. And then visit it, initialized with set. So this visited variable is used um, used to uh, prevent us from uh, visiting the same place. So after that, um, first of all, I create a, a found a flag um, initialized with false. So all we have to do is uh, find one of islands. So um, we don't have to iterate to all uh, place in uh, grid. So when we find one of islands, we can immediately stop. So that's why we need uh, this flag. And uh, for start looping for um, row in range and the rows. And uh, if um, found is true, immediately break. If not the case for uh, column in range and the uh, columns. And uh, if grid row and the column equal one, in the case um, uh, we use this first search and uh, passing the row and the column. So this is uh, because um, um, so if one of islands are located in multiple place in grid, um, we know that uh, all one um, are like a, a position. Um, in the adjacent uh, place. 
So in that case, I think a dex bar search is a good algorithm to find the one or one. So that's because uh, um, we can uh, immediately uh, found, find the uh, adjacent one, and uh, if we find a zero or out of bounds, we can immediately go back. So sometimes um, dex bar search uh, go far away, so very efficient algorithm. But in this case, um, all ones are adjacent position. So I think uh, uh, dex bar search is a good algorithm to find uh, um, all one. And then after that, um, we update flag uh, with two and then break. So let's create a dex bar search here. So def dex bar search and uh, row and uh, crumb. So if row is less than zero or row is greater than or equal rows or column is less than zero or column is greater than or equal rows or grid row so current position is not one in the case we immediately return nothing and then if not the case um update current position row and the column e equal to and then at the same time um so the position of two uh position of two is uh, like a starting point so um set current position to q so q dot append and uh, row and the column and also um, marked as a visited place so visited add and a row and a crumb so after that um, I'm moving the four direction so this first search and the row and the crumb so I copy this four times and uh, like a plus one minus one plus one minus one and then um, we can, I think we can successfully uh, change one or one to two in the same iron. And then after that, so next we, so this is a find uh, any iron and mark its cells as a two and set starting position. And then after that, um, perform the uh, press pass search starting from the cell marked as two. So first of all, um, create a distance initialized with zero. So this is a, a return value. And then while q, and then for underscore in range, and the length of q. And then uh, first of all, pop the most left um, position. So row and the column equal q dot pop left and uh, next so for dx and dy in so we move a four direction so like a one zero and uh, i copy this um minus one and zero one zero minus one and then so new row and then new call equal row plus dy and the call plus dx and then if zero greater than or equal new row and uh, less than rows and uh, zero greater than or equal new call and uh, less than calls and uh, new row and the new call not in visited in that case um, if new position new new row and a new 
equal equal one. So that means we find uh, another island. So in that case, we should return current distance. If not the case, add new position to Q and visit it. So append and the new row and the new call. So I copy this and the visit it and we should change it here add. And then after that um so here out of four um we add plus one to distance plus equal one and then we finish right definitely there are two islands so i think we don't have to return here yeah so let me submit it looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n where n represents uh, the total number of cells in the grid so that's because we iterate through all places one by one so that's why and the space complexity is also order of n so we use q and visit it so q hold, uh, can hold the utmost n cells in the grid and the visit it um, is also um, stored the utmost um, n cells and uh, yeah so that's why yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.